Hi folks, welcome to another tutorial on reporting student learning and achievement with a new curriculum for Edmonton Catholic Schools. In today's video, we will learn about why and how to use PowerTeacher Pro to generate report cards. Edmonton Catholic Schools has been using PowerTeacher Pro for the last six years. It is a grade book that has been designed to integrate seamlessly into PowerSchool Student Information System, or SIS, so that all of our classes are automatically set up according to how they are scheduled and configured in PowerSchool. PowerTeacher Pro is also the place where the port report card program draws the data to create student report cards. So the teachers will collect their evidence of learning in class, however that might be. They'll input that information into PowerTeacher Pro. PowerSchool will then convert that data in order to generate a report card. The report card program pulls the data from this page right here. You may recognize this page as the place where we would go to verify levels of achievement. This is called the outcomes page in the A plus grading tab in PowerTeacher Pro. It does not show individual assignments, but rather a summary of student achievements according to the outcome. For old curriculum in elementary and in junior high, the report card program only displays outcomes marked with this icon and they are referred to as reporting standards. Reporting standards are used when there are too many outcomes to report on individually. The specific outcomes are assessed and graded in the gradebook and these grades are then amalgamated into a single level of achievement for the respective reporting standard which is generally the overarching outcome from the curriculum. See the link below to watch a short video with more details about reporting standards. In the new Alberta curriculum, learner outcomes are much broader and therefore rather than nearly 100 specific outcomes as we see in the old curriculum, the new curriculum has approximately 10 learner outcomes per subject per grade. There are no reporting standards for a new curriculum. This means that every outcome from new curriculum must appear on the final report card. So to recap, only reporting standards from the old curriculum will appear on the report card, just as in previous years, and all outcomes from the new curriculum will appear on the report card. When we use PowerTeacher Pro as our gradebook, we document student assessment information by assignment or assessment task, and then PowerTeacher Pro uses that information to populate the outcomes page. It is our responsibility as a classroom teacher to ensure that what is reported on the summary report in January and report card in June is accurate. This means we must come to this page and verify the levels of achievement for each reporting standard in the old curriculum and every outcome in new curriculum. If we do not use PowerTeacher Pro as a gradebook, then we must manually input levels of achievement for each student in each subject on every reporting standard for old curriculum and every single outcome for new curriculum. This is the only way to ensure that report cards are generated for your classes. So let's review one more time. There must be levels of achievement in the PowerTeacher Pro Outcomes page in order to generate a report card. If you use PowerTeacher Pro as a gradebook, those levels of achievement will be there and must be verified in the same fashion that we have done in previous years. If you use a different gradebook, you must manually enter levels of achievement. Those levels of achievement need to go in the reporting standards only for old curriculum and in every outcome for new curriculum. That's it for today, everyone. If you have any questions at all, please visit our SharePoint site or call your assessment and reporting consultant at Learning Services. I'm Jennifer, and I'm happy to have walked you through this process today. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.